Much games. Tell you a story? Well, I do know the most incredible story of all. My story. My legend. The legend of Puss in Boots. Like all great tales, it begins with a humble gato. I entered the establishment in search of a simple score. The patrons did not take me seriously. Until they were reminded of my reputation. <laughs> the men gave up what they knew. That the bandits Jack and Jill had somehow found the magic pins. The legendary beans for which I spent half my life searching would lead to a giant's castle and to the Golden Goose. I would finally be able to repay my debt to my hometown of San Ricardo. I needed to find the location of this Jack and Jill. I could smell that one of the Pantiros could help me, but he suddenly ran away. Whatever he knew, it was important enough to hide. But if I was to find those beans, I would need to catch him. But the other bandidos were not going to make that decision. Fear me, if you dare. Hey, nice boots. Do not mess with us. My turn. You better be ready. You call that fighting? Never corner a cat. Learned a valuable lesson. Oh, I... Feel the power of the boots. You want to play? Let's play. <laughs> Let me handle this. You better be ready. Why are you idiots just standing there? Attack! Hey, nice boots. My turn. You better be ready!
Okay, that's it. You want to play? Let's play. I would love to stay and play, but I gotta go. My flare was unparalleled. Come and get me, Gato! He did not want me to follow him. But I always think on my feet. He would not stop me for long. I must get up with the... Uh, why, senorita? What are you doing in a rough place like this? To play? Let's play. <laughs> Let me. Never tell you the secret. Dodge this! You keep rolling them, I keep dodging them all day long. I promise I won't throw another barrel. Oh no! There you go! I will say one thing, senor. You have a lot of barrels. Dodge this! Want another one? Here it comes! You keep rolling them, I'll keep dodging them all day long. Catch me if you can! I had the 
bandit cornered. Unfortunately, there were... Uh, hey, el gato. Complications. Look at the little kitty cat. Okay. My turn. Okay. That's it. Its friends were departing. I would soon find out what I needed to know. So, mi amigo, don't you think this would have been easier without all the running?
Jack and Jill were staying at the hotel. And they hadn't seen the magic beans. The fiesta was in full swing, but this was business. I would have no time for pleasure. Well, maybe a little time for pleasure. It was the classiest hotel in town, and nothing was going to stop me. With those beans, I could repay what I owed to the people of San Ricardo. The guest book could tell me where Jack and Jill were. I just needed to take it. But I could not risk being spotted. There was a price on my head. Busiest time of the year. Yeah, right. What's that? If I put the book next to me, I wouldn't have to keep turning around. Room 7. Before I could go there, I would have to deal with other obstacles. Hmm? How did... Hey! You see anything? Like what? Anyone suspicious? In this place? Everywhere I look? I could not afford to be spotted. If Jack and Jill were alerted, it would be the last I saw of the beans. Stop right there, outlaw! Statue just move? I am keeping my eye on you, Mr. Cactus. I need a rest. I keep seeing things. The room was ahead. But first, I had to get past my frame from the harbor. The hotel was very old, as were the squeaky floorboards. What's that? I was caught. Eh? But luckily, El Fiesta del Fuego provided a suitable distraction. El fin, the end. No more. I was at the door to Jack and Jill's room. There was just one problem. It was locked. Luckily for me, this was really a problem. The hardest part would be getting the beans. I would have to employ my very best sneaking skills. Did you hear a noise? It's nothing. Hey, what gives? Who is that?
looking for something? <laughs> uh, no. Uh. Housekeeping. Ren was telling me nothing. I needed to know what he knew. Was he too after the magic beans? You! You cost me my beans! At least do me the honor of facing me in a duel! You will have to do better than that! Oh. Look! Who's in boots? Uh oh. <laughs> I will show you. <laughs> Let me have this. Okay, that's it. doing here. There is room for only one amazing feline in this town. I admire your skills, but I cannot allow you to continue. Why so quiet? Something to hide? I will get you. I can promise you that.
This chase ends right here, right now. There is nothing you can do. That, maybe. Well, get him! Give me one moment. Do not mess with me. No way. But only a fool would. Well, I guess that answers that question. There is room for only one amazing feline in this town. But I cannot allow you to continue. The people were enjoying the Fiesta del Fuego, unaware of the spectacular show that I was putting on behind them. Only a madman would cross the harbor, or another madman who was following him. I will get you! I can promise you that. Think you will get away again? Fortunately, things could not get any worse. Or maybe they could. The cat! Get him! Hey, nice boots. Let me handle this. Okay. 
Lose a cat. Think that you are a fraidy cat! I was not proud. Uh. Oh. I admire your skills, oh, oh, oh. but I cannot allow you to continue. What have we here? Oh. Something about the place. There was a distinct sense of anticipation. I came face to face with the one who had cost me my score. I was ready to fight. Dance fight!
I had won the dance fight. This was not a surprise. What happened next, however? My rival. A woman. It explained a lot of things. Her name was Kitty. But the real surprise was still to come. Humpty Alexander Dumpty. He was once my dearest friend. Like a brother to me. Just the sight of him caused me to have a flashback. Like this, I had arrived in the home for lost children, a kitten. An impossibly cute kitten. On my first day, Humpty had stood up for me. And in return, I decided I would always have his back. Humpty spoke of legends and inventions beyond my wildest dreams. But most of all, he told of the castle in the sky and the beans that would take him there. Humpty was the brains, I was the skill. Just a kitten and an egg in search of magic beans. What could be more natural than that? As time went on, we found ourselves in trouble. But when I became a hero, Humpty took a darker path. He tricked me into stealing from the people of San Ricardo, from our home, bringing dishonor to both of us. I escaped. My brother did not. We were never to speak again until this day. Humpty was still in search of the beans, and now he had found them. We would repay our debt to San Ricardo together. He knew exactly where we could find them. But Jack and Jill were moving fast. Naturally, he had a plan for this too. This is not the plan! Waiting to me. I had missed my ride. I had to catch up. I had to catch that coach for the beans and for my honor. I was proving once again my extreme agility and skill. Such a lovely mother. Rock a 
by Piggy on the treetop. You better be quiet or we will be caught. You are a cat of most unexpected strengths. Hey, Jill, this is fun, ain't it? It's nice when you talk. We have some adventures, don't we? You steal my beans, and now you're stomping on my luggage? You better not be messing with my jack. Hey, Glad, I'm not the one doing that. How do I look? I got a treat for you, pussycat. Uh -oh. You get him, Jack. Keep playing all day, kitty cat. Steal you. I'd love to join you, except, you know. Family needs style. Must be easier ways to travel. We're starting to look dangerous. You can do it, Jack! Gotta get back for those beads and stay alive! I never thought I would spend my day doing this! Doing a great job, Moss! This is one tough piece of luggage! with the books and the bags and the everything else. Fine! Are you sure that you are okay? Oh, do not worry about me. This is just a normal everyday activity. You look pretty... comfortable. You may not know this, but you are actually not helping. Just grab the beats, he says. Easy job, he says. Do you want me to come and help out? Myself, but I'm busy driving. I am beginning to remember why I stopped listening to you. How are you uh, getting on down there? Never fear. 
I've trained my whole life for these beats. He had been planning this day since we were small. We carefully planted the beans and waited. And waited. And then... Amazing things happened. Clouds, snow, some wind, some very pretty lighting. We ran, we climbed, we had an up, we climbed some more. Until eventually we arrived at the castle and the location of our treasure. However, even with our great strength and will, the golden egg proved difficult to move. As always, Humpty had a backup plan. This is not a safe place. Look at the size of these things. There she is. Finally. The golden goose. Shall we go get her? Choke it up here. Wait a minute. You better go without me. I shall lead the way. Oh no. We come all this distance, and now that there is treasure, you will lead the way. Uh, Puss. She's gone. So small. You may go first this time. Why, thank you. Wait, why? Uh, no reason. Oh, I get it. Great job, puss! This is not made easier by your talking! Almost there. 
Hey, Puss, have you got the goose yet? Oh, why, hello there, senorita. Fancy meeting you here. Another job for me, then. Puss in boots, in a boot. Ay, ay, ay. Not again! This is a strange, strange place. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Not again! The beautiful flower. That is like nothing I've ever seen. Stop doing that! Doing what? The goose is over there. I suppose you'll be there when I get there too? Maybe... You are very slow today. If you are so fast, why don't you go get the goose? And miss out on all the fun? No way!
I am but a small cat in a big, big castle. What was that noise? Um, uh, how about we? Pardon me. They talk of the Great Terror. It's just a story. Anyway, you should just go grab the Golden Goose. You'll be fine. And you are not going because... Oh, uh... Well, I have important plans to be making. And you? I am not insane. I think we know what happens here. I get close, you fly away. Well, not this time, mi amigo. This time, I wait for you to come to me. <sighs> here we go again! Be careful! Me? I have encountered more terrifying foes than a simple plant. I shall be careful. I promise I will get you this time. Worthy adversary, but I have won this battle of wills. Finally, we had the goose. The goose that laid the golden eggs. We left the giant's castle the same way as we arrived. In style. Looking good, no? No one likes a show-off, Puss. Whoa there! Watch this! Hey, check me out! This is kind of fun! Are you getting the hang of it yet? Are you always this way? Watch this! Hey, check me out!
how long I would take to dry. Not good. Hello? Hello, guys! Any help? Anyone? I'll just uh, wait here for a minute. Still kind of trapped. I do not even know how you managed to get there. Thanks, puss. I thought I was a goner. You can always rely on me, brother. Just grab hold and float down. Really? Yes, really. This is kind of fun. That's just how I roll. Just a normal day in my life. Coming through. Nothing like some gentle sliding to get the heart racing. Hey, watch yourself. I am becoming something of an expert at this. Look at me! Hey! Ay -ay -ay. Check me out! Uh, guys? Think happy thoughts! <laughs> uh, you sound tiny. No, you sound tiny. Will you two stop arguing?
We landed safely at the base of the Beanstalk, but our safety was short-lived. Kitty and I were overwhelmed by superior tactics. They came for the goose, but they went away with more than they bargained for. Kitty and I knew we had to find him. We followed the tracks back to the bandit camp. There was a certain sense of the inevitable. Ah, yes, there they are. Hey, nice food. I shall be God. You have all learned a valuable lesson. Okay. That's it. This is too easy. Okay. My turn. You have all learned a valuable lesson. Okay. Nice boots. I shall deal with the cat. I have barely broken a sweat. Okay, that's it. You have all learned a valuable lesson. I am going to catch you. Okay, my turn. Thanks to my keen senses, I am able to detect the slightest hint of a trap. I had to get into that room and save Hamdi. If I could sneak up on the bandit, I could take the key. Mm. 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 
Once again, I would have to prove myself at the dark art of mime. Got you! <laughs> the reward will be mine! I feel like I'm missing something. I need a rest. I keep seeing things. I feel like I'm missing something. What you do not realize is that I am the greatest sneaker in the history of sneaking. Another enemy beaten. Aha! You want to play? Let's play. <laughs> Let me handle this. Okay, that's it. Shall be going now. Lovely to meet you. I had escaped the danger of the explosion. Although there was 
alone. I was just, uh, looking for Hampty, but I see you have already found him. What is that you say? Uh, now I get it. You wish to fight? <laughs> I will show you. No! Let me handle this. Okay. That's it. You better be ready. Another enemy beaten. Here I come. <laughs> Let me handle this. Coming for you! Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> there is plenty enough for everyone. No one else wants to come forward. Must I do everything myself? I shall deal with the gas. <laughs> I will show you. <laughs> okay, that's it. Boots. Let a real yeah. fighter take over. Ole! Okay, that's it. You better be ready. Ole! It 
turns out I am very good at this. We had the goose, and we were safe for now. We celebrated through the night. Two old friends and one new, united in victory. But in the morning, the goose was nowhere to be seen, and my friends had vanished. I was alone once more. I decided to return to my home of San Ricardo. To my surprise, Humpty was already there with the goose. And my fate had been decided. He had planned it all from the start and revealed himself to be a master of deceit. But his revenge did not stop with me. The people of San Ricardo were next. I was powerless to stop him. Luckily, I still had one true friend. I knew where I could find my so-called brother. My only wish was that I was not too late. Come on, come on! You are nothing but trouble! No! This way! Humpty Alexander Dumpty. I will not let you get away with this. You're too late, puss. The Mother Goose is on her way. She's coming for her baby. Help! Puss in Boots has stolen the goose! Help! Stay here. Hey, nice boots. Okay, that's it. You better be ready! Ah! Okay, that's it! Are you having a sit down now? You wish to fight? <laughs> I will show you! Enough for everyone. Okay, that's it. Do not mess with me. Look at the little kitty cat. I shall deal with the cat. You better be ready. Okay, that's it. after her baby. She would destroy all of San Ricardo looking for it. I 
I had lost the golden goose again. But I had another much bigger problem. For the sake of San Ricardo, I had to stay out of sight. The goose had eyes like a hawk. My only chance was to once again demonstrate my skill at stealth and disguise. I normally move more silently. Pretty graceful, I think. I have a feeling they will not give up the goose without a fight. Luckily, fighting is something that I can do. Let me handle this. You better be ready! Okay. Do not mess with me. You wish to fight? <laughs> I will show you. <laughs> Let me handle you. You better be ready! Okay, that's it! You better be ready! There is plenty enough for everyone. I'm sorry!
the town was saved, but my friend, my brother, fate held a different path for him. Humpty Alexander Dumpty was a golden egg all along. I was free. I had paid off my debt to the people of San Ricardo. But Kitty never stayed in one place for too long. Nor was she the time for big goodbyes. My only hope was that one day our paths would cross once more. Their story was over. But for me, this was just another chapter in... The Legend of Boots in Boots. <laughs>